Hi guys, today we're going to build a tool that will visualize um, parametric equations. Um, at some point during your math studies, you've probably heard um, about parametric equations of a curve. And this is what we're going to do today. So if we just create new package, um, parametric, and create, um, call it, I know, Drawing app extends application override the start method. Our standard launch, and then we'll need to show the screen. Create content. Um, it's going to be um, we're going to have pain as the root node, so we could um, do some stuff with um, canvas and graphics. Root return root preferred size eight hundred by six hundred. Canvas same size, so the whole. Canvas will occupy the whole route. Um, I'll need a graphics context to draw on. Um, what else? We'll need an animation timer. Which will draw, um, which will increment our um, parameter in the um, equation of the curve, and then um, draw the new frame. And we're not going to clear the graphics context, so the frame will be drawn. The previous frame will, which will create the um, drawing of a curve. Okay, so what else we need? Um, we need our parameter t, which we're going to increment by um, 0 0.0167, um, which is 1 60th um, of a second. And um, pretty much draw. For drawing, we need a um, point. That point will be given us by the function of um, so basically a parametric equation, which is which will look something like this. Um, this is just a page on Wiki that gives you um, some background to what um, these things are. Function and the um, I'm going to call this curve function to make a bit more sense, which will give us um, x and y of the point um, at parameter t. So the whole thing will base on um, this parameter. So if we want to draw a circle, for example, you just take um, its parameterized form, which is cosine t sine t. And we'll do some uh, cosine t is for x, which I'm going to statically import um, math functions so that I don't um, call stuff all the time. It's general lang um, math about everything. <clears throat> and then we can do the stuff like just cosine t rather than math dot cos t. Import um, static. Y is sine t, and then we're going to return a new point which simply contains those things. So in our method draw, we will um, compute the curve point or point um, of the curve at this moment in time, and then um, g. So 
set stroke color I'm saying black j stroke oval um so the origin point is top left um, corner of the screen in JavaFX and in many uh, graphical user interface libraries. So we're going to bring this point uh, point of origin right in the middle where we usually have it um, on a piece of paper when we draw stuff like that on paper. So um, since we have width and height 800, 600, um, the new point is going to be it's new x um, it's 400 plus point get x and new y is 300 plus that draw oval new x new y um, with and height of the oval or a point is going to be one pixel so it's pretty much like a pixel um, wide and that should do i think although i don't see any on the screen oh yeah we haven't started the timer so yeah it is drawing a circle but it's very tiny I'm going to increase um radius so if we multiply by 50 that should give us somewhat visible circle yeah it's actually really nice because the animation is double buffered because of hardware acceleration and stuff and used by JavaFX so it's really nice um, animation okay so that's the um, kind of the core part of the algorithm um, there isn't pretty much any algorithm we simply just do this um, and draw that's pretty much it um, but there is a um, curve that I really liked it's called butterfly curve and this is the parametric equation of that curve so what I'm going to do is essentially replace cosine and sine with these equations which will give us um, should give us something like this So um, we start from sine t multiplied by um, in the bracket e multiple um, to the power so it's power e and r is cosine t. Need to be careful with the brackets here. Um, minus two. That's why my cosine or t. Uh, minus sine or power sine of t over 12 and power 5. I think that's it. If we do this, copy that here, it's pretty much the same thing. And um, the only difference is cosine. That should work. Yeah, it kind of does, um, except it's drawing it um, yeah, with y inverse. So if we do, we're just going to flip y. Yeah, so it's drawing correctly now. Although the um, because we're drawing only points um, on the screen. There is no connection between two adjacent points, which we need to fix. And we can, um, ideally, it should be a smooth out curve um, that connects to the two adjacent points. But we're going to use something very simple. And it's going to be just stroke line. So I don't particularly like it in black. So if we do blue. Stroke line, um, we need the previous point and the next point. So we need to have uh, another set of variables, old x, which is, so it's the center, old y.
and if all x isn't equal to 400. So this is we basically check if it's the first um, point to be drawn on the screen. So it's not the first point. Then we then stroke line from old x, old y to new x, new y. And then we draw the point. And then we need to make sure to um, set old x to new x so that um, it could be done so that it works on the uh, next cycle. Yeah, something like that. So yeah, we basically um, created a very tiny tool that draws um, parametric equations to a certain extent. Um, and if we multiply this by something a bit bigger, say 85, which occupy most of the screen, um, those Actually, what if we don't draw the points? That could be even better, I think. Yeah, that's that's perfect. So um, yeah, so now we have a um, nice tool that draws uh, parametric equations. Um, and yeah, you can set color and stuff. You can even, um, once you've drawn it, you could um, even say that to your um, hard drive, which we um, can do um, very easily, actually. So if we do that, um, scene. So we're going to add a new, um, a new key handler, um, key event handler, set on um, key pressed, or rather key released, because key pressed may be fired many times, and I don't want to be uh, saving many times. Just once, um, so released, and um, if key get code equals key code, um, we'll enter. Then save screenshot, uh, save screenshot. And we're going to implement this um, screenshot saving stuff. Um, right, first of all, we're going to capture the screen. Um, it is done by, right, we cannot access it there. Um, we'll just pass it in, I suppose. Scene snapshot, I think. Um, yeah, snapshot to the writable image. I think if we pass in null, it will just create an image for us. Um, yep, yeah, that's fine. Writable image, effects image. I'm calling it effects image because we'll need to first convert this uh, to a um, swing image, which is the buffered image because um, then we could use uh, image IO to save stuff without worrying about um, various data and stuff um, that is actual the pixel data. So buffered image, um, so it's an AWT image. Um, I think it's swing effects utils, yep. There we go, from effects image. The effects image that we're trying to save or convert is this one. And I think the other can be null. Yeah, it's nullable, so I can pass in null. This will come back as a buffered image, and which we can then save using image IO, um, write image. The image that we're writing is that one. Format name 
PNG, and then we can specify a file. Um, my file could be screenshot. We'll handle the exception. Um, just print um, to the console. Shouldn't throw any exceptions though. Uh, if everything goes all right. Um, yeah, let's see how that goes. I'm hoping this is going to save it to this directory um, since we're not specifying anything. All right, if we run this, um, well, it draw some stuff. Yeah, I think this is enough. And if we press enter, um, yeah, it didn't print anything, so um, I'm hoping it did save it somewhere. Yep, there we go. The screenshot is there. And it saved it as a um, PNG file, which we um, asked it to do. And yeah, so it's partially drawn, but whatever. Um, this is how you can save images um, from JavaFX now. Um, by just screenshotting them. So you don't actually have to use native um, operating system tools. You can save it um, using code if you want to. So yeah, um, I think this will, um, will be enough for this tutorial. Um, thanks for watching.